lot of the stuff in the first half that they were getting us with, uh, they were just attacking our rules, and um, it was just really hard to, to line up against them. And then the second half, there's only so much that they can do. We made all the adjustments, and we came back out in the second half, and uh, everyone was really focused, and the things that were getting us earlier, uh, we were picking up. So uh, kudos to everybody to, to be uh, play with better focus than them in the second half. It's uh, incredible. You know, we're all going to enjoy it tonight. Um, the whole class will probably be hanging out together. Does it hit you guys yet that you know you're never going to run out of that tunnel again? I don't think so. I don't. Uh, it's the attitude I think we're taking is that we're not done yet. Like again, it is great to play in Camp Randall, and we won't ever do that again. But uh, just spending time with this team is, is also great, and playing the game with this team is, is great. So we're not done yet. Um, play the next game. Um, you know, I think we kind of just took over. I think that we knew um, the players we had and the confidence we had in ourselves. Um, and, and we kind of just did our best to just keep imposing our will and, and um, you know, playing, using our identity. Yeah, yeah I think, you know, like you said, I think we carried that chip on our shoulder. Um, we kept fighting all the way through. You know, guys gave it everything they had. And, um, and that was, it was cool. It, it was, it was special. Um, you know, I kind of took a little glimpse around and, and um, you know, soaked it all in because, because um, you know, we had a lot of fun games here. It was a good time. I mean, it's it's almost like, it's almost um, just we expect at this point to, you know, we're, we, we love the sudden change situations. You know, I mean, it's just, it's a, you know, it's a moment for defense to, you know, kind of show what we got. And that's great, you know, kind of like last week I saw Tyler uh, push out the corner and made the cut off him. And then Bo had got the safety uh, up the field, and I just made the cut off him and scored the touchdown. So yeah. it felt feels really good. They had sniffed the, the one before that out. Did you guys, were you guys trying to set them up on, on the third one? Do you do anything different, any wrinkle, or uh, it's right the same nothing, way again? Nothing really different. We knew uh, people probably expect us to run the jet sweep, so I guess they were kind of expecting that. But the third one, I don't know if they were expecting that one. Is it the same play calls the one you scored on last week? Um, kind of the same play, but different formation, but the same concept. Um, I don't know, honestly, not too much. I guess it's cool. It's a great um, step, but um, whether it sounds cliche or not, I don't think it matters too much for what we're doing right now. So um, this is a great game today, and we're ready for next week. It's, I think we, we all pick each other up. Uh, like, we're brothers. We are, we're family. And, uh, and if somebody messes up, we don't get down on them. We just know we're going to get it back. You know, we're going to get it back later. We're going to get it back sooner. So I think that's the biggest thing. We're just a brotherhood. Like, we're a true family. I love him. I really just... I mean, he's the same guy. There's, you, I mean, you can't, you can't tell that he's down on himself, really. It's more about it. You can just see he's focused. Focused on, like, maybe what he did wrong, what he did right. But at the same time, you know he's going to come back and play. No, it's it's awesome. I mean, we're playing Michigan in hockey, too. Like, it's, it's it, this whole campus is, is a crazy buzz right now. And he felt it out there. Like, that jump around is probably one of the craziest ones I've been a part of. And uh, it, it's fun. You know, you, that's, why, that's why you come here, like you said. You, you want to play these big-time teams in, the, in these big moments. And, um, you know, we came out with a win today, and that's, that's kind of all we're thinking about for sure. No, I mean, Ryan's been that guy since I've been here. Uh, we've, we've always clicked, and I think us four have a, have a great relationship. Um, I know when Conley's in, we have great communication and, and great chemistry. That, that guy flies around the field, you know, 100 miles an hour, throwing his body around him and making plays. And, uh, it's it, it's fun to watch, and you know I'm, I'm excited every week to play next one. I mean, Conley's, in my opinion, one of, he's up there, the best linebackers in the country. And he's a guy who's going to keep proving that to everyone. Um, when he gets a shot, you know he he makes the most of it every single time. Um, it's it's tough because you know we're all we all rotate and we do things like that. Uh, so when you're out there, you have to make the most of it. And I think we just do a good job of that. Maybe no. a, maybe a little bit, but not really. I mean, there's really no need for it because at the end of the day, if you just keep winning. You'll find yourself in a good spot. Um, and what what good does getting mad at the outside noise do for a team? Uh, to me, it, all it could do is harmful stuff. Um, so keep everything in house and just making sure you win games and everything should work out for it. If your fuel is, I want to silence the, the haters, stuff like that, and then you're probably not in the right spot. You mean Wisconsin? Um, yeah, I think I think Wisconsin is just all about. And playing for the team and for the state and stuff, the fans, stuff like that, that's your fuel. Um, I just don't know if, if, I'm just, if, if you're a guy whose fuel is, you know, media saying your schedule's bad, stuff like that, then you're probably not in the right spot.